with the changing digital landscape search engine optimization is not an option anymore but what makes it so different for e-commerce marketers today let's find out Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Ace the Market. Today we have Siddhant Anand who is our SEO expert at Merkel Socrates and uh, we're going to talk about SEO today and narrow it down to what makes it different for e-commerce business lines today. So hi Siddhant, how are you doing? Hi Vishali, good, good, you tell. SEO is not an option anymore because of the online businesses that are growing up so fast. Uh, but can you tell us why is um, why is it such a such a highlight for e-commerce market lines? Yeah. So basically, SEO is important for everyone, right? Whether it's an e-commerce industry or whether it's an educational technology industry, it's important for. Everyone. But the case in the case of e-commerce SEO, where it comes is like uh, for the e-commerce, they have a pretty more generic queries, or if we'll say that they have a variety of products. So what they want is uh, the other website are focus only on the sessions part, right? So right. They just want the user should come on their website. Yeah. So. Uh, in the case of uh, e-commerce, what they want is they want the user to come on their website and uh -huh. also transaction and give them a revenue part. Right. So that's what they. So if we take the example of the current situation, like uh, we'll see that everyone is sitting at their homes, and so the uh, demand for the e-commerce is also increased right now. Yeah. So the queries, the trend, keyword trends has also increased. Like everyone wants to buy groceries, or if anyone wants to buy clothing, shoes, right. and. They just have to search it online, and they'll get it from the e-commerce website. Right. Okay. So, as I'm understanding this, uh, the search intent on uh, Google is higher, and that's why it makes it so important about what are the search queries coming from uh, the other end. And let's say that I am someone who wants to buy shoes, and if I just type shoes on the on my Google search, right? So, uh, the e-commerce business lines who are selling shoes, if they want their brand to be uh, under the visibility area, so then they'll have to work a little harder than the others to get their uh, businesses on the spotlight so that's that's what i'm understanding is that correct yeah that's correct so uh, in the case of uh, e-commerce so what happens is uh, if an, it's a other website like normal educational website so they just want their website to rank in the case right. of e-commerce they want their website to also rank they want their category pages to rank they also want their products to rank right that yeah. makes absolute sense. Yeah. So coming to my next question, right? If I am um, a brand marketer who is wanting to invest uh, in this in this line and want to take it more seriously, so you know, uh, why wh where should I start? You know, what happens next? If it's a new website, we'll suggest him to do on page and off page both the things. Uh -huh. So uh, uh, through on page, it'll help to increase the SERP, and through off page, they have to create a hype uh, amongst the people. Like it's a new website, it's it's selling shoes, right? So yeah. what we do is We'll uh, answer questions, Quora questions, do guest blogging, and all that stuff. Like, if someone will search best shoes online or where should I buy shoes online, so he'll see that there is a question on Quora who's answering that this is ABC is a new website who's selling shoes and people are purchasing from this website. So, he'll go definitely go to the website and see what all stuff they do have. And for a website uh, who's there in the market for the two, three years, we'll do, we'll firstly do our audit and see that what all improvements they require that if they require more on page or they'll require more off page that if there are some problems in the on page or they, they are only doing on page for the past two three years and not doing off page part right it brings us a next level of insight into understanding how complementary uh, action of both these on page and off page gives the best results for a brand when they are trying to actually optimize their sites in the back end I think that was really great. Thanks for connecting with yeah. us today, Siddhant. We'll come back to you later sometime yeah. again, you know, with some more queries on SEO. And until then, you take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.